Hey everybody, it's Ron from that show that Ron is commonly on. Anyway, um, what I wanted to show you guys tonight are a whole new series of video out adapters for people that want to try to get uh, VGA video out of their old compact Max. Now you might ask, why would I ever want to do that? Well, I don't know. There's a million different reasons, but probably the big ones that I could think of are this. You're troubleshooting a board that's not giving you video output on your uh, stock analog board and CRT. Uh, maybe you've got an extra Macintosh SE or a classic or a Mac Plus motherboard laying around. And you just want to do something fun with it. Or maybe you're like me and you're someone who has always wanted to build a cat Mac. I, I know you're tired of hearing about it, but it, you've always wanted to build a cat Mac. And uh, now all of the things that you need are back on the market. So you can do that. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go over to the bench. I want to show everything off to you. All right, let's start with a classic. This is the SE Combo, and what this does for you is it allows you to hook up a modern power supply to your Macintosh SE or SE30 motherboard. So basically, that plugs into this Molux connection here, and then from here, you would take the normal cable that plugs the analog board to the digital board on your Macintosh SE or SE30, plug that in there, run it to your main board. Basically, it's providing all the power, plus tapping into your video pins, which will pass through this IC, and then you've got a couple of different options. You can use this IDC 10 connection to connect to something like a period accurate display, like a uh, sync compatible CGA display or a uh, MDA display or something like that, um, or any other video scaler that you might be playing around with. Or there's also an IDC 12 connection on the board to connect to the RGB to HDMI. What's nice about this new one is basically power, ground, all your video signals are passed through the IDC 12, so that way you don't have to run additional cables over there. Um, the RGB to HDMI is kind of getting to be expensive these days, uh, mostly because the CPLD chip that they use is going end of life, so that is why I came up with this other solution. This is what I call the Mac PicoVid combo. And what this does is replicate some of that same functionality that you saw with the SE combo board, where you still have a Molex connection for attaching a uh, like a uh, modern ATX power supply, or if you're building something small, you could even use like a Pico ATX power supply. Your interconnect board still goes over to your Macintosh main board, but instead of using an expensive RGB to HDMI, this makes use of a Raspberry Pi Pico for the scaling. Um, this this also makes use of a open source project uh, that the links and everything will be in the description of this video where you can go check it out. But what's nice is you can mount this inside your Mac and then basically it just extends the video over to this VGA breakout board and you can hook up period accurate uh, VGA displays. So if you have like an old CRT that's just sitting around that you wanted to uh, play around with, heck, you can hook it up to your, uh, your classic Mac. Um, what I like about this too is by being uh, VGA, it also gives you a whole world of scalar options to go up to HDMI. So that way it's easier to go that direction than it is to go backwards and a lot cheaper too. So this is an option for people uh, that are maybe trying to build a cat Mac or have an easy way to have something on their bench for troubleshooting. Um, basically, uh, you plug it in and go. It's pretty straightforward. If you like that option, but don't necessarily need the power supply component, I also made a couple of other boards like this right here. This is just the Mac Pico vid without the power supply option. Again, it uses a uh, Raspberry Pi Pico and what this does is basically you can scale video in from your uh, compact Mac. You can either use uh, some of my other ecosystem of adapters uh, to plug into this, or you can just tap directly into wherever you want to pull the signal off of the analog board or the uh, digital board. Uh, basically, you're just pulling off horizontal sync, video sync, or I'm sorry, horizontal sync, vertical sync, the actual video signal, and then ground. But with this little screw terminals, it makes it easy. Um, the VGA connection is just right here. Um, there's also a couple of models that Gutbomb has out on his uh, printables page that uh, lets you plug this directly out the back of a Macintosh SE, which is kind of neat. Um, 
you do need to provide power to it. So you can either power it directly through the Pico or there is an auxiliary header over here that uh, has a diode in place. So just in case something goes wrong, uh, you don't blow anything up. But uh, the board is pretty nice and everything is well documented where the signals and everything are on both um, inputs and outputs. So that way that whatever your project is, you've got easy options to hook things up and figure out exactly how to best make it work for your purpose. If you don't want to be directly tethered to uh, the back of the machine, I also made another version that uses that same VGA outbreak or output breakout. Gosh, that's a mouthful um, that you saw on the first board. But um, this one here, it has the same inputs. Really, that's the only difference. But just trying to think of different use cases. Um, this one right here, I just don't have the uh, PyPico installed, but um, that's pretty trivial and the boards include them. So there's nothing you really have to do after the fact. And I hear you asking, you're like, Ron, it's got an IDC 10 on there. What, what's that all about? Well, here's what it's about, okay? So again, if you have an SE motherboard, like this one right here, um, the J12 connection on the board that normally connects this, the, the motherboard or the digital board up to the analog board that provides power and uh, has all the uh, electronics for connecting to the display, um, I made these little interconnect boards. This is what I call the um, SE breakout or J12 breakout for the SE, SE30. Basically what this does is if you're gonna do a sleeper build, like you're not gonna replace the power supply in whatever it is you're doing, but you wanna get high quality video output. What you do is you can purchase one of these adapters. This is all uh, measured out and everything where you can still use it in your stock case. No case modifications are uh, required. You don't have to dremel anything out. Uh, basically this just sits underneath there. And what it does is the power and everything comes down from your analog board into your main board provides power for everything but there's a nice little breakout over here that then what you can do is on compatible devices you basically just plug that in that's extracting all your video signals and now it's ready to be output you just have to run five volts over here like i was saying you can either power it directly from the um uh, the pi pico or there is an auxiliary connection here and exposed down here on the board, there is a uh, five volts. So that way that you could just run a wire over for ground and for power, if that's your thing. Um, we'll probably have install options for that in the future. So that way that that will just be plug and play. And you might be asking, well, Ron, on your original board, the SE Combo, isn't there also a IDC 10 connection? Yes, there is. Well, couldn't I just also plug one of your new boards in there too? and have the best of both worlds? Well, you kinda could, but it really won't work. And the reason why is because the IC here on this board um, basically flip-flops the video. So that way that um, black is white and white is black, which is required uh, to display properly on uh, period displays. Um, so what you could do instead of just running this over there, it is possible to just make use of the connections because uh, there's some through holes that I have here on the board. You can just make use of those and just run your, your ground, your video, your horizontal and vertical sync over here to the screw terminals on the new adapter. And yeah, you could do both at once. It's not as elegant as doing this, but there's not maybe a good way <laughs> to have um, to have that set up like that. Maybe in the future, if I do another uh, set of these boards, I'll come up with maybe having screw terminals on both or something. But for right now, that's the way it's configured. So that's it. That's the big exciting stuff for the moment. Um, a whole series of options for people trying to get video out of their classic Macs. Um, those compact Macs are a lot of fun to play around with. I love those machines. And the more of them, or as many of them as we can keep out of landfills, probably the better. So I, I hope that you will take a look at these and maybe consider one for one of your projects. And that's it. I'm really proud of these things. It's taken a long time to get this all put together. Um, I, I really appreciate the help of everyone who uh, stepped up and asked, you know, answered all my silly questions and stuff. So, and a lot of thanks to Gutbomb and a lot of thanks to Joe and to um, uh, 
like just all the people that are behind all these cool open source projects that make stuff um like uh, guru 3 that that's it's his uh, uh video scaler project and dos fox and all those great guys so anyway that is it for the moment i want to thank everybody for spending just a minute with me this evening to look at some of these new things and as i always say apple II forever <laughs>